You can go a long way with a smile. You can go a lot farther with a smile and a gun. Don't mistake my kindness for weakness. I am kind to everyone, but when someone is unkind to me, weak is not what you are going to remember about me. I don't even know what street Canada is on. In this life, all that I have, is my word and my balls. And I do not break them for nobody. I would rather be rich affluent and greedy, and go to hell when I die, than live in poverty on this earth. I am going to St. Petersburg, Florida, tomorrow. Let the worthy citizens of Chicago get the liquor the best they can. I'm sick of the job, it's a thankless one and full of grief. I've been spending the best years of my life as a public benefactor. Some call it bootlegging. Some call it racketeering. I call it a business. I have spent the best years of my life giving people the lighter pleasures, helping them have a good time, and all I get is abuse, the existence of a hunted man. I am like any other man. All I do, is supply a demand. They can't collect legal taxes from illegal money. You accomplish more with a smile, a handshake, and a gun than you do with just a smile and a handshake. Be careful who you call your friends. I'd rather have four quarters than one hundred pennies. I am just a businessman, giving the people what they want. Capitalism is the legitimate racket of the ruling class. Now I know why tigers eat the young. Prohibition has made nothing but trouble. You can do more with a kind word and a gun than with just a kind word. When I sell liquor, it's bootlegging. When my patrons serve it on a silver tray on Lakeshore Drive, it's hospitality. I am sick and tired of publicity. I want no more of it. It puts me in a bad light. I just want to be forgotten. Hell must be a pretty swell spot, because the guys that invented religion have sure been trying hard to keep everybody else out. Capitalism gives all of us a great opportunity if we seize it with both hands and hang on to it. You'd be surprised if you knew some of the fellows I've got to take care of. I have built my organization upon fear. It seems like I'm responsible for every crime that takes place in this country. I'm the boss. I'm going to continue to run things. They've been putting the Roscoe on me for a good many years, and I'm still healthy and happy. Don't let anybody kid you into thinking I can be run out of town. I haven't run yet, and I'm not going to. The country wanted booze, and I organized it. Why should I be called a public enemy? The funny part of the whole thing is that a man in this line of business has so much company. I mean his customers. If people did not want beer, and wouldn't drink it, a fellow would be crazy for going around trying to sell it. Public service is my motto. They talk about me not being legitimate. Nobody's on the legit, you know that, and so do they. Nobody's really on the legit, when it comes down to cases. What do you want to do? Get yourself killed, before you are 30. 
you'd better get some sense, while a few of us are left alive. All I ever did, was sell beer and whiskey to our best people. There's plenty of business for everybody. Why kill each other over it? I have always been opposed to violence, to shootings. I have fought, yes, but fought for peace. Bolshevism is knocking at our gates, we can't afford to let it in, we must keep America whole and safe and unspoiled. Find the toughest guy in the room, embrace him like a brother, and then slam his head against the wall. The worst type of these punks, is the big politician. You can only get a little of his time, because he spends, so much time covering up that no one will know that he is a thief. A crook is a crook, and there's something healthy about his frankness in the matter. But any guy who pretends he is enforcing the law and steals on his authority, is a swell snake. I never stuck up a man in my life. Neither did any of my agents ever rob anybody, or burglarize any homes, while they worked for me. They might have pulled plenty of jobs, before they came with me, or after they left me, but not while they were in my outfit. It's pretty tough when a citizen with an unblemished record, must be hounded from his home by the very policemen whose salaries are paid, at least in part, from the victim's pocket. You might say that every policeman in Chicago, gets some of his bread and butter from the taxes I pay. People who respect nothing dread fear. It is upon fear therefore, that I have built up my organization. But understand me correctly please. Those who work with me are afraid of nothing. Those who work for me are kept faithful. Not so much, because of their pay, as because they know what might be done with them, if they broke faith. Every time a boy falls off a tricycle, every time a black cat has grey kittens, every time someone stubs a toe, every time there's a murder or a fire, or the marines land in Nicaragua, the police and the newspapers holler get capon. I got nothing against the honest cop on the beat. You just have them transferred someplace, where they can't do you any harm. But don't ever talk to me about the honor of police captains or judges. If they couldn't be bought they wouldn't have the job. I've been accused of every death except the casualty list of the world war. I'll go as deep in my pockets as any man, to help any guy that needs help. I can't stand to see anybody hungry or cold or helpless. Nobody was ever killed except outlaws, and the community is better off without them. The parasites will trail you, begging for money and favors, and you can never get away from them, no matter where you go. I believe I can take credit for the peace, that now exists in the racket game in Chicago. I believe that the people can thank me for the fact, that gang killings here are probably a thing of the past. We must keep the worker away from red literature and red ruses. We must see, that his mind remains healthy. Many people in this world live a disadvantaged life. You can lessen their burdens, by providing support either materially or emotionally. Even just giving a box of chocolate can bring a glimpse of light to those in need. 90% of the people of Cook County drink and gamble, and my offense has been to furnish them with those amusements. Whatever else they may say, my booze has been good, and my games have been on the square. Once you're in the racket, you're always in it. The parasites will trail you, begging for money and favors, and you can never get away from them, no matter where you go.
My rackets are run on strictly American lines, and they're going to stay that way. Don't you get the idea I'm one of those goddamn radicals? Don't get the idea I'm knocking the American system. A kidnapper is no better than a rat, and I don't approve of his racket, because it makes the kidnapped man's wife and kiddies worry so much. I shall be glad to help Chicago in this emergency. Nobody wanted prohibition. This town voted 6 to 1 against it. Somebody had to throw some liquor on that first. Why not me? Hell it's a business. All I do is supply a public demand. I do it in the best and least harmful way I can. I can't change the conditions. I just meet them without backing up. I'm a businessman. I've made my money supplying a popular demand. If I break the law, my customers are as guilty as I am. Some of the biggest dries in the country buy from me, and have for years, so let's stop kidding. I want peace, and I will live and let live. I'm like any other man. I've been in this racket long enough to realize that a man in my game must take the breaks, the fortunes of war. I haven't had any peace of mind in years. Every minute I'm in danger of death.